Hello, I'm Paula Renova, and today we're going to talk about wisdom, love, and power. Divine wisdom, divine love, and divine power, which are strengths that we have in our hearts. Every human being has those three forces within. But before we dive in, make sure you like this video, that you comment what you think about everything that we talk about here, that you subscribe to our channel, and that you hit the notification button, that little bell so that you will receive all the notifications whenever we have new videos for you, you will be notified and then you'll know that you can come here and watch the videos and love them. And please don't forget to share this with people you know will benefit from this content. We're creating something beautiful and powerful together. So the more we increase our community, the Cardinal Method community as I like to call it, the happier everybody will be, right? Because the ultimate reason why we're in this world is to be happy people. And we're generally happy as adults when we expand our consciousness. It brings meaning to our lives. So in the Cardinal Method of Life Connection, we always develop three forces that reside in the human heart. So every human being is born with what we call a threefold flame. So it's like a fire within that has three forces, which are wisdom, love, and power. Wisdom is more intellectual. It's more on the mental level. Love, of course, is emotional feelings and the heart. And power is about our instincts and how we act in the world, about our actions, right? So when I say power, it's about divine power inspired action, going to the world, diving into the world from a higher self perspective. So we develop wisdom, love and power in our lives, usually in our childhood, all the way up to age 21. I actually want you to think right now about your life, your childhood, your adolescence, your teenage days until you're 21 years old one of the three forces was predominant in your life. You chose to be more intellectual, more brainy, so more on the wisdom side, or more emotional relationships and feelings, your heart was more the center of your life, or more power, inspired action, or even just action, not inspired action, but just being more aggressive and out there in the world. So what happens with most human beings, and this is part of our human journey, is that we tend to crystallize in one of the three. And what we wanna do here with the Cardinal Method and all these videos and everything that we do together is to bring balance and interaction between wisdom, love, and power. Because wisdom on its own, if it's by itself, people become very intelligent, very intellectual, they accumulate a lot of knowledge, but if wisdom is not hand in hand with power, Power meaning you are out there in the world sharing your talents and serving people with your highest good, right? With the highest good in your heart, then you will create isolation. So if people are just focused on wisdom, there's a tendency to be in isolation and not have relationships, not thinking that you can share your knowledge and your wisdom with the world. So it kind of become point, becomes pointless. You know, so wisdom needs power to have a purpose to share everything you've accumulated with other people that gives meaning to all the knowledge you've accumulated. If you are predominantly in the wisdom area, right? Power is extremely important in every person's life. But if power is not hand in hand with love, then it can become aggressive then people start thinking they're better than other people. They can become oppressive. That's why power has such a bad name and a bad reputation tends to have, right? People associate power with abuse and it shouldn't be that way. Because if power is aligned with love, you will use your talents and all the awesomeness that you have with a loving heart to help people. So power needs love to be divine power. And love needs wisdom because if we are not wise with our love, we are loving blindly. Love without wisdom is blind. 
You don't see what's going on. So love is healthy when you love with an open heart and open eyes. You have clarity about where you're getting into. That's why people go through so much pain because they just blindly dive into relationships. Their love is blind and there's no wisdom to balance it out. So love needs wisdom, right? Wisdom needs power and power needs love. And if we go on the other way around, then this makes us understand how they really need each other, these three forces within. So wisdom is accumulated knowledge, clarity of mind, and it needs love so that you share it with people and so that you understand that everybody is equal. And wisdom aligned with love creates compassion. Because it's easy for someone who has a lot of intellectual knowledge to isolate himself or herself, right? The Achilles heel of wisdom is isolation. So if you have love in your heart, you will be compassionate for those who don't have as much knowledge as you do. You will share it with people with a loving heart. So wisdom needs power to be out there in the world, to be in inspired action, to actually take charge of something with a loving, compassionate heart, right? So education, that is in alignment between wisdom and love, right? People who are in the love predominance need power too, because if you don't own your personal power, you will become a doormat to other people. So when you align love with power, that means it's self-love. It's a divine force, a combination of love and power, right? Because if you love others more than you love yourself, that's blind love. So you need to get clarity with wisdom not to do that. And also you don't allow anybody to abuse you if you own your personal power. So your love needs to be aligned with wisdom for clarity and with power for healthy boundaries, to be assertive, not aggressive, but to be firm with your self-love. And power needs wisdom so that you create a project for your life. So you have a long-term path to follow because if you're a very powerful person and you have so much to give to the world, you need to align everything you can do and create a long-term structure and a project so that your power is perpetuated throughout time. So structural big picture thinking is all about power aligning with wisdom. So life has meaning when these three forces within the heart are connected and helping each other. It's like fuel for each other, right? Wood and that fire, they, they help each other and they balance each other out. And the more you develop wisdom, love, and power, the more you know yourself, the more you'll develop them in a balanced way. They will expand exponentially and your life will grow. Your consciousness will expand and your joy of life will become deeper and broader and more awesome. And, and seriously, this is life connection, as I like to call it. This is a meaningful, happy, joyful life. So the three forces within, wisdom, love, and power, when aligned, when connected, help each other, balance each other, and then keep growing together in a beautiful and balanced way. And that is an amazing life. This is the purpose of the Cardinal Method of Life Connection. It's a dream. It's also a lifestyle. Joy of life is a lifestyle. Wisdom, love, and power balancing is a lifestyle too. I invite you to dive in. So I would love to know what you thought about this video. Don't forget to comment your experience here and to like it, of course. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the notification button and especially to share it with people that you know need this type of knowledge, this type of content. Because the more we grow our Cardinal Method community, as I like to call it, I'm sure that the happier the world will be. And I'm sure that a lot of people are just waiting for you to forward this kind of knowledge to them so we can join forces, share the same vocabulary, and be the people we were born to be. Realize all our potentials. So I can't wait to know what you think about this. If you want to get content every week from us and be 
you know, told when we have new content for you, you can sign up for our newsletter. So below this video, we have our website. So you can just go there and sign up for our newsletter. So every week you will have some amazing content to, to read and to think about and to bring to your heart so that your life becomes more awesome than it already is. So thank you for being here. I can't wait to know what you thought about this video and I will see you soon.